Good afternoon. It's Josh Meyer, superintendent of the Boquet Valley Central School District, here with a video community update for you on today, March 24th. First and foremost, I'd like to thank all the food service employees and everyone else who has assisted with the food prep and deliveries over the past couple weeks. This is a huge task that we put upon them and they certainly answered the call and were able to offer quality food and get it out to the community members. So to everyone in the cafeteria, all the aides and assistants who helped out and certainly our bus drivers for getting that food to the community, it is definitely noticed and appreciated. We do have a couple changes, some you may be aware of. Uh, last week we went to our, we were doing daily food deliveries. This week we went to a once a week delivery on Mondays and that appears to be the model that we're going to follow uh, at least for the next few weeks. One change that we'd like to make, uh, we'd like to offer milk in these deliveries. Uh, as you can imagine, this runs into a problem in terms of keeping the milk at temperature. So what we're asking families to do, if you would like milk, we're asking that you leave a cooler out in front of your house uh, with some ice or some other mechanism to keep that cold so we can put the milk in that. That will be a signal to us that yes, you do in fact want milk. Uh, or if you are at home during the time of the deliveries and don't need a cooler, for example, uh, that you're waiting for the bus, you're just waiting for us to drop it off. As soon as we're back on the bus, you plan to open the door, get the milk and put it into your fridge. That's also okay. We just like a note attached to the door that yes, you would in fact like milk and you have a plan to get that into a refrigerator just as soon as possible. And really that note can be something very simple, something just like this. Uh, very simple, just saying yes, milk please, and we'll make sure that we get you that milk. So a note on the door or a cooler at this time will be our signal that you do want some milk and we can do our best to make that happen for you. A reminder about the deliveries, right at this time, our deliveries are one-way deliveries, meaning we don't want anything back from you right now. You know, if you have work that needs to get back to a teacher, if you have books or library books or something to that effect, uh, sports uniforms, anything along those lines, we don't want them back at this time. We don't have a plan in place uh, to accept those and make sure that they've been uh, potentially de decontaminated uh, if that's a need. So we're not accepting anything back, just things going out to the school, uh, from the school to you at this point. Um, certainly we'll, when we get have a procedure in place, then we can let you know about that. <clears throat> Testing updates uh, you may have heard or seen on the website, all the three through eight ELA and math exams, those have been canceled for this current school year. Uh, that also includes our fourth and eighth grade science exams. Those have also been canceled. If you are enrolled in an AP class, you will still be taking those exams. Those are being modified and it, it looks like those will be taken at home and online. Your teacher, your AP teacher, uh, they should be able to give you plenty of information about that. At this time, it also looks like bridge courses, that credit will be received for bridge courses. Again, your, your teacher of the bridge course is your best resource for that if you have questions. And we are still awaiting guidance from the New York State Education Department about Regents exams. So there's no update at this time on Regents exams. An update on athletics, the New York State Public High School Athletic Association uh, will have a decision on the spring athletic season by April 27th. I've had a lot of questions whether or not spring sports will take place this year. And we are awaiting guidance from the New York State Public High School Athletic Association on April the 27th. Our school closure duration. This is another popular topic that I'm getting questions on uh, from uh, teachers, um, from other community members and from parents. How long will the school closure last? And that is something that we don't have a firm answer right now. Uh, as you're aware, our school district, along with our other districts in the BOCES, we closed until April 20th. The governor then sent out an order that schools would be closed just until April 1st. Um, in the governor's most recent uh, comments, he's talking about uh, this, um, this uh, closure maybe having an effect up from four to nine months. So the bottom line here is that we're awaiting further guidance and I expect that we'll get that uh, in the next um, week or so, uh, certainly prior to April 1st. Um, I find it very unlikely that we would be going back uh, that quickly, but at this point it really is up to the governor 
uh, unless they turn that authority back over to the local districts. At home instruction, so huge shout out to the teachers and uh, the assistants um, who have certainly worked hard to make this happen and the principals in coordinating this. So I know last week there were a variety of issues that popped up as this is a brand new model that we were trying to implement very quickly. And it seems uh, that we solved a lot, of, a lot of those issues as they arose. Um, the best thing to do at this point is to communicate with your classroom teacher as we will likely see a lot of teachers, if they aren't already, moving toward um, some type of audio communication, video communication, or interactive video exchanges. Uh, we are currently working with West Elcom uh, for drive up internet service in both Elizabethtown and in Westport. Um, at this time, it looks like the social center in Elizabethtown, uh, if you just pull into the parking lot there, uh, you should be able to get some internet service. We will be providing via email our uh, username and password information for those services. And in Westport, uh, the, the actual internet service will be coming from JAMS, um, but will be available in the parking spaces out front and um, in the parking spaces just across the street. Uh, and a couple updates on budget meetings and the Board of Education meetings. Our March 26th budget meeting, we are canceling that. I will be putting that information online. Um, our April 7th and 8th meetings with the architects that were scheduled for the interviews, those will be postponed. Those dates will be announced um, as soon as we have those. So the next meeting scheduled is the April 23rd regular Board of Education meeting. At this time, we're planning that being available uh, via webcast. More information will be available on the website as that uh, becomes available. If you're not aware, uh, Mr. Bueller has arranged a spring photo contest the information is available uh, online and um, you can take a look at some of the photos on our Facebook page that some students are submitting. And there's also a workout of the day uh, that's happening also that uh, Mr. Bueller is working on. So if you haven't seen those, I recommend checking those out. And lastly here, stay safe. Let's isolate uh, as best you can. Take care of yourself. If you are in need or you know someone who's in need of anything, please contact the school. The best way to do that is through the building principal via email. If you have technology needs, if you have um, needs revolving meals, um, if you have needs revolving the remote instruction or emotional support or really anything else, please contact the building principal and we'll see what we can do to assist you in making that happen. I wanna thank you very much for taking the time to, to watch this video and good luck everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.